guess where we are. We are in Cairo at the Pyramids of Giza. Welcome to My Vintage Love, Egypt Edition. <laughs> which we need no introduction. He is beautiful and majestic and everything we thought it would be. It's once again totally surreal to be here, but it's been an amazing day. Take a look at his tail. Yeah, so we're here at the Sphinx, it's right behind me, and it's amazing how close the modern city comes. Turn around and there it is. yesterday but it's tight. <laughs> here at Saqqara and behind me is the Step Pyramid of Djoser. It's one of the oldest things that we'll see on our trip here in Egypt today.
Hey everybody, good morning. We're here in the Zamalek section of Cairo. People talk about the horn honking of the cars and traffic. Take a listen. It's like a constant stream of Morse code from car to car. We had heard about it before, but you don't really appreciate it until you're here and you're hearing it all the time. And it really is a conversation going on between cars. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep beep. Because yeah. our truck could <laughs> We had heard. It's a good lesson how to cross the road here. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, everybody, we made it through the Cairo traffic scene. You have to walk through traffic. It's hard, it's fun, it's exciting. <sighs> Let's keep going. Hello, we are here in Cairo at the world famous Egyptian Museum, home of the largest collection of Egyptian artifacts in the world. Come take a look at some amazing pieces with us. So this is a capstone from a pyramid and you can get a beautiful look at it. The work is just really, really amazing and all those symbols and everything are gorgeous. best things about this museum is that so much is out in the open and it feels like a working museum. It's really fascinating to see that and it just has this great almost unfinished quality that feels everything feels very accessible. What they've done is they put a mirror down so you can see what the mummy would have been looking at in his afterlife, which is a beautiful goddess, arms outstretched, covered in stars, so the mummy would be looking up to the sky for the rest for the eternity. It's really, really beautiful and evocative. We're here in front of the statue of King Amemphis and Queen T, and you can't appreciate the scale of these things until you're in front of them. They are just massive and so very beautiful. Check out the scale. So we just finished up at the Egyptian Museum. There was so much to see. We could spend days there, but we're hungry and it's time to go get something to eat. We arrived in Luxor, we're waiting for our ride, so we're gonna have a little tangerine breakfast that our driver gave to us. see it behind me and it is amazing. We just got here and I'm already completely overwhelmed. It's so huge and magnificent.
can't even comprehend the scale here, and I'm standing one of the temples. It's beyond amazing. Pylons, and behind me you can see almost all of Karnak Temple. It's beyond amazing. Take a look. We think of pyramids in Egyptian art as being all one color, all monotone, but in fact it was very, very colorful. And you can see that in some of the hieroglyphs here. It's really just so beautiful and striking, particularly on the underside, which was not as exposed to the elements as the rest of it was. It's beyond phenomenal, it makes it seem much more real. So we're finished up at the Karnak Temple. We saw so much in three hours. It was an amazing time, and we're on to our next adventure. Let's go. We're on the west bank, about to head over to Luxor. We're gonna go see the Luxor Temple at night. We're here at Luxor Temple at night. It is beyond amazing with all the lighting. Come with us. Tourists have been coming here for about a hundred years and it's really cool because you can see where they've left some of their graffito on the wall. So it's history wrapped in history. finished up our visit at the Luxor Temple. As you can see, it was stunning. The lighting was beautiful. It added a whole new element to it. So let's go back to our apartment and get some sleep.
drive here, we notice that the surrounding area is very fertile. So it's really interesting to see the depiction of picking grapes and making wine and all those kind of things. You really get a sense of where you are and what was influenced making, making the color of the tubes. The colors in here are beautiful now, but when they were freshly painted, it must have been extra amazing because there's quite a nice range of color within, within this tomb especially. It's beautiful, but my favorite part is seeing the old graffiti that was scratched in in the 1800s. were allowed to enter. It's just magical in here. And also, our guide told us that this was underwater for years and years and years. You can actually see the water line in some of the rooms and some of the obelisks. It's, it's just crazy to think about. And the other great thing about being here is you can see the layers upon layers of generations. So the Egyptians started it, and then the Romans came in and added theirs, and then the Coptic Christians came in and added theirs. And there's amazing examples of just inscriptions upon inscriptions all mixed together. It's really fascinating to see that.
together, but we're in the souk getting some custom galabias made. The gray is, is more of a suiting detail that you wanted. Shisha here in Aswan with our friend and guide Osama. So very helpful. <laughs> We are currently smoking a shisha, apple flavor. It's very good, and we're smoking shisha and drinking Coca-Cola, and I'm really appreciating the juxtaposition of these two things. The shisha is really tasty and um, very easy to smoke, and gives you a nice little fuzziness around the brain right after you take the hit. It's, it's really, really pleasant. I can see why people would want to do this every night. It's our last day in Aswan, and today we're going to go to Kubrahala on a private boat and explore the tombs there with our guide. Come with us. We made it, camel ride. I really, I thought we were going. I thought we were gone. <laughs> oh, we made it. <laughs> getting up. <laughs> I literally thought I was going to fall off. <laughs> he does not seem to be happy doing this. 
and I'm glad I won't be on here for longer than 10 minutes, but I'm glad to have the experience. Once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. Only gonna do it once. They weren't kidding though, I've always heard that they go up back feet first and you feel it. You get pitched forward very, very quickly. Beautiful, attractive Nubian village. Lots of great color. Getting close to the end of our ride. We're gonna figure out the dismount. Probably not our most elegant moment. <laughs> Wish us luck. Okay. Lean back, lean back, baby. And then dismount. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the camel ride? It was really fun. It wasn't super comfortable, but it wasn't horrible. But I'm really glad that we did it. It was fun. It was a great experience to have. Hey, very cool. Yeah. What do you feel? I like it. Yeah. Because I am. Just what he will make it for you. Are you sure it's your husband? Yeah. He's a good man or no good man? He's a very good man. You have to change? I'm not good. <laughs> My father is 80 years, not married yet. <laughs> We haven't been married long. I gotta give him a chance. Yes, <laughs> just relax. He will do it. Okay. That looks better. That looks amazing. You can see. <laughs> you look great. Yeah. Sometimes you can do like that. Sometimes you do like that. Also, sometimes you do like that. Yeah. It's a nice scarf, honey. Uh, I don't like where it's from yours. I think you look great. Thank you. We're here in Oswan and we're getting ready to take our fluka ride. Out here on our Fluka ride, I'm captaining the ship just very briefly. So we're here on our Fluka ride. It's really, really beautiful. It's just what we hoped it would be. The wind's perfect. The sun's setting. It's gorgeous. everybody we're here at our final destination and we're ready to fly back to, to New York City tomorrow morning Egypt has been beyond amazing and we want to thank our guides and our hosts for making it even more amazing and special and we want to encourage all of you to come to Egypt it's an amazing and beautiful place we're so glad you come along with us and enjoy our adventures with us and look forward to more vintage love adventures in the new year bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
Okay. One more take. Okay. Sorry, my brain went totally blank there. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at the lens.